Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 and it reads and I will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding first and foremost I want to give all praise honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash next double honors to the head apostles Slash elder bishop, a great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gospel people here for a bear. Lunch break lesson. Food for talk, food for thought. This, this is what the Lord knows and commanded us to feed the children of Israel with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, which shall be the stability of that times. Like I said before, just, just some quick. And in order for us to feed you with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, we gotta look up news articles. We gotta watch current events. We gotta watch the news. We gotta go into geopolitics. And the phone just chimed in. This is how we let you know when the scriptures say, "Measure the time, thou diligently." This is how we measure the time. We see what's going on in the earth, and we link it up with the scriptures. How else is we gonna know what time it is? Just like when you look up in the sky, you see the sun coming out. Oh, yeah, it's going to be warm today. You look up in the sky, the, cl the clouds are there. Oh, it's going to rain today. Oh, it's going to snow today. Discern. That's how you discern what time you in. So our job is to feed you with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. And if you, and now, you, know, you, if you can't digest it, if you don't want to open your mouth, aka your mind then, then who fault is that it is is it ours or yours because because the lord ain't gonna come down here and tell you nothing he sent forth his service you, you can read that amos 3 and 7 once again jeremiah 3 and 15 and i will give you pastors according to my heart according to his mind's teachers leaders prophets according to his mind which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding food for thought that's that's a that's, a, that's what i'm gonna name this food for thought let's get this Quick little lesson through the spirit, lunch break lesson. It ain't gonna be nothing long. Just hit some points and I'm gonna wrap it up. You got guys bugging the hell out. So, so why are y'all going into the news? What? Why are y'all going into geopolitics? Why why are y'all using the things that y'all see going on in the earth with the scriptures? I thought it said through thy precepts we get understanding. No, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, through the precepts, we do get understanding. But how do we get that understanding by seeing what's going on? That's how we measure the time, man. Bear with me. First Peter chapter 5, verse 2. Feed the flock of the Most High. Feed them with what? We just showed you. Jeremiah just told you what we're going to feed our people with. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, right? Feed the flock of the Most High, which are the Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. We do this thing willingly, not for filthy lucre, where no one's paying us off, but of a ready mind. Always be apt to teach. Always give an answer. Constantly, matter of fact, let's just get this. That's the only thing we're going to do. Is just keep feeding. We make sense of the whole matter, right? Let's see what I want to get right quick. I want to get... um. It's, it's, it's so much and so much first first corinthians chapter 14 verse 3 and it reads but he that prophesied that's our job is to prophesy right but he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification the word edification goes back to the word edify which means to build so we're here to build, you know what I'm saying, help build the elect of the nation of Israel. We're here to teach the word, but we do build our people up with the breakdowns of the scriptures. You see, we're giving the understanding and exhortation. Continue to push no matter what comes upon you and comfort. Comfort my people with these scriptures. So we go into the different geopolitics. We go into the current events. We go into the inner news and let you know what's going on, letting you know how close. See, we identify you at, uh, according to the scripture. Remember, it says measured out of time, diligently. If you read Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, which I'll get that, Lord willing, it says measured out the time diligently. How do you measure time? You see, when you read the scriptures, how are you going to measure the time? What are you going to measure it by? You see, if we don't, you know what I'm saying, go into the things that are happening in the earth, let it all make sense. 
Get these bug outs coming on the comment board. Talking, so, so why are y'all using news articles? Why are y'all using geopolitics? What? Let, let it all make sense, Israel. We're here to prophesy, to edify, to exhort, and to comfort. We, we measure the time. When we look up current events and we see news and different news articles pop up on the screen, we, we see it's going into a digital system. We go straight to Revelation 13, 16. And let you know how close we are to Sleazy E making it mandatory that you take that seat here. But we're not supposed to keep up with current events, right? The scripture says, matter of fact, let's just get it. Let's just get it. First Thessalonians. Bear with me. This ain't gonna be nothing long. First Thessalonians chapter five. Food for thought. That's what that's what I'm gonna name this. First um Thessalonians chapter five. Verse um, let's get this. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6. Therefore, let us not sleep. See, two-thirds of our people and these false Israelite groups, they sleep like hell. They don't know what time it is. Anytime somebody come on the comment board and say, why are y'all looking up and going into geopolitics? Why is y'all using news articles? Why don't, why don't y'all just read the scriptures? And that's it. What do the news articles have to do with the scriptures? A whole lot, jackass. It had, it's had, has everything to do with it, jackass. Just, just straight up, just stupid. Sodish. Says my people are sodish. Just straight up stupid, man. Common sense is not common, Israel. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do. The majority of the Israelite groups, they sleep. They're all on, shit, you got um Sakari then, you know what I'm saying? They all on the jumpers. Yeah, these people seeking vain glory. They ain't thinking about the Lord. When, still wearing hats outside prophesying. Reading the Bible with their head covered, got on, got on a fitted hat, a do-rag, and a hoodie. But that, that's who you following, though, right? Let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch. We're supposed to be watching Israel. Watching what? Watching the news and linking up with the scriptures when we see something happening. When we see, see additional men, oh, the Lord said that was going to happen. We see, when we see them, them passing these different laws and legislations, these unrighteous decrees, oh, yeah, the scripture said that was going to happen. When when they actually when they um um in, uh, initiate I think was initiate the the words escapes me right about now when they, when they make it mandatory that you can't go nowhere when martial law pop off oh yeah that was written up in the scriptures but let us watch and be sober spiritually man the majority of our people they drunk as hell in the spirit we we matter of fact, and then I made I made a statement that the Lord ain't gonna come down here and tell you nothing. He's going to put the spirit on his service and they're going to do it. Let's just get that right quick. Amos. Amos chapter 3. Just a quick little point. Lunch break lesson. Ain't even nothing long. Amos chapter 3. Amos chapter 3 verse 7. Show that the Lord power will do nothing. But he revealeth his secret unto his service. The prophets. So the secrets, the mysteries, the allegories, the parables of the Bible has been given to his service. The prophets. And we reveal the secrets. We tell you what's going to happen before it even happened. Through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, because the Lord revealed the secrets into his service to prophets, man. So before certain things even happen, we tell you about it, and, and there you go. It start to happen. This is all through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. And we're supposed to do it daily. Matter of fact, let's get this. Daily. You got guys steaming mad because we prophesying too much. Y'all doing too much prophesying. What? So, we, so the only thing we're supposed to be doing is dancing and having fun and all this other nonsense, right? Come on, man. The Lord said, when you see those signs in the heavens like blood moons and Rivers turning red and all that. All those are signs, man. We're supposed to be looking out for these signs and, and link it up with the scriptures. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 13. Let's get this. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 3, and it reads, But exhort one another daily. Henceforth, um, the elder apostle Gabar's page, daily edification. You see? But exhort one another daily. Tell them to keep going. Look, look, while it is called today, at least any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. So, yeah, every every day, pretty much, the men of the Lord are making videos, and guys are mad because of that. Guys, mad as hell. We're making our bodies a living sacrifice. Guys are mad as hell, man. So, Rock chapter 39, let's just get this right quick. So Rock also knows Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 7 in the reads. Matter of fact, let's see. Matter of fact, I started one. 
Sirach chapter 39, verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out all the wisdom of all the ancients, and be occupied in prophecy. The men of the Lord are occupied in prophecy, and will seek out the secrets of grave sentences, and be conversant in dark parables. The men of the Lord are going to be in this mind state, right? Let's, let's, let's just jump down. I want to jump down. I want to jump down to verse 7. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and in his secrets shall he meditate, right? He shall show forth that which he have learned, because, you know, we, we learned from men. You see, we, we didn't say we got it on our own. We didn't say the Spirit taught us. No, no, we learned from men, and those men are still out there on the highways and byways. Our teachers, what did it say? Continuing the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, and, and, and if, whom thou hast learned them from, pretty much is roughly paraphrasing. And he shall show forth that which he have learned, because we had to be taught. And look, how, sh how should they teach without a teacher, right? And how should they hear without a teacher, right? And shall and shall glory in the law of the covenant of the Lord. And, and, and it's a beautiful thing to be able to have this knowledge and to feed our people with it. Our, our labor is not in vain. Look, we're gonna give you the we're gonna give you the understanding of the matter. Let's go here. Sirach the 15th chapter. Let's go here. Like I said before, just lunch break lesson, just throwing some scriptures together. This is on Sirach chapter 15. Let's see. Sirach chapter 15. Let's see. Let's see. Bear with me. Sirach chapter 15, verse 3. With the bread of understanding. See, food for thought. With the bread of understanding shall she feed him. Remember, I'm going to give you passages according to my mind, which shall feed you with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. If it weren't for the men of the Lord letting you know what time it was according to the scriptures, you, you wouldn't know a damn thing, Israel. We wouldn't know nothing if the Lord didn't send forth his servants to break down these scriptures to you the right way. To tell you what to look out for. When you, when you see this happening, this is going to happen. When you see that happen over there, then, then this is going to happen. When you, when you see wars, rumors of wars, storms, floods... Get that scripture right there Because that's happening now That scripture right there oh, that's, he, he said that was going to be happening in that book In the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter That's happening Oh yeah, the Lord said that was going to happen in 2nd Ezra The 15th chapter Oh, oh the Lord said that was going to happen in 2nd Ezra The 9th chapter Daniel, the 12th chapter So forth and so on, man so when we measure time, you know what I'm we see what's going on in the earth and we link it up with the scriptures, man. All right. So Rock 1533 with the bread of understanding, shall she feed him and give him the water of wisdom to drink, which is this word. The bread is the word. The water is the word. The wisdom is the word. Remember, food for thought, food for thought. Let, let's see what else I want. You see, we, look, we're giving you the understanding of the whole matter. Certain things that's written up in the scriptures, if nobody didn't break it down to you, you wouldn't know. Hell, hell, I wouldn't know. And then the Lord said, feed my sheep. We're, we're, we're feeding you. Matter of fact, let's go here. I said I wanted to get this, so let's get this. This might be my last one. This wasn't meant to be a long lesson. Just, just some food for thought right quick. Let's get this. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1, and it reads, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And how do you measure time? You see what's going on in the earth and you link it up with the scriptures. Just like when the Lord Yahweh was telling the disciples in St. Matthew, the 24th chapter, they wanted to know when you're coming back. You're getting ready. You said you're getting ready to leave. When are you coming back? And he said, when you see wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, famines, race wars, class wars, civil wars. These are all signs to look out for before I come. I, I'm not going to give you the date. I'm not going to give you the hour. I'm not going to give you the month. I'm not going to give the year. I'm going to give you clues to look out for. So we have to be looking out for the clues. We got to watch the news. We got to go into different news clips, articles, and things of that nature. We got to see what's going on on the other side of the earth, which different laws are being passed, so forth and so on. That's how we know that we're that much closer. What, what are these idiots talking about? So don't keep up with current events. Just read the scriptures. Just read the scriptures. What? 
He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou see, here, here we go right here. And when thou see as part of the signs pass, in order for you to see the signs this pass, you got to be looking. Which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So you got to look out for the signs. They even have a clue that the Lord is coming back soon, right? Therefore, and these are some of the clues right here. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, are we not seeing this? Are we not seeing these things on the news? Are we not hearing about more earthquakes in diverse places? Are we not hearing about uproars, meaning people protesting everywhere? The scriptures say, watch as well as pray. Food for thought. Watch as well as pray, man. What are you talking about, man? These guys don't know what they had. And look, and we're going to hit the highways and byways. They, look, these guys are through, all right? They, these Johnny come ladies, they, they, they're pretty much through. And the Lord has given us the gift of faith. I mean, I can keep going on, going on, going on to the break of dawn, man. But I'm about to close it out, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me finish reading this. What did the Lord say again? Let's read that last part again. Three. Second Ezra 9 and 3. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, are we not seeing this? The only way we're going to be able to see this is if we watch the news, keep up with current events, look up news articles, see what's going on on the other side of the world, see what's going on here in Babylon, so forth and so on. And we link it up with the scriptures. What part of that don't y'all understand? Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The Lord is making it clear, making it known that we're at the end of this place. How, how is he doing that? Through the current events, through the things that we're seeing happen upon the face of the earth. It's, it's, it's not rocket science. This is my last one. This is my last one because I, I, I got the roll. I'm still at work. I'm on my break. Let's get this. St. Matthew, uh, I, qual I quoted it. St. Matthew 24th chapter. Remember, you, you shall be able, you shall um, desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That, that's uh, martial law popping off. You, you, see, you see martial law pop off. Oh, yeah, well, that was written in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. Sleazy e, or Sleazy e giving him, he making um, his system digital. Oh, it's about time for that C hip. So we got to keep up with what's going on in the earth. Got to keep up with current events. Got to keep up with geopolitics, man. It lets us know how much closer we are to the end of this place. And so we link it up with the scriptures. This, this is not hard. You're making it hard. Jake reaching. That's all it is. St. Matthew 24. Jake don't want to go home. St. Matthew chapter 24 and um and 3. And as he said, this Lord Yahweh Shai, who they can call Jesus, and I'm reading through it pretty fast because I'm pressed with time. i got to go back to work. And as he said, upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And the end of the world. And Yahweh Shai, the end of an age, the disciples want to know, man. When are you coming back? When is going to be the end of Sleazy's rule? When are you going to come back and take the Romans down? Because they was ruling at, this, at that time. The Edomites, right? And Yahweh shall answer and say unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. And this is the point right here. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Remember, the Lord said, These are the things you need to watch out for and look for. A nation rising against another nation. And kingdom against kingdom. Matter of fact, I, I, I jumped. I jumped the gun. Let's go back up. Six. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things shall come to pass, but the end is not yet. So how the hell is we going to know that it's a war and it is rumors of wars if we're not watching the news, if we're not keeping up with geopolitics? How the hell is we going to know? Just stay in the house with your head tucked between your legs and you're supposed to know what's going on in the earth. You're supposed to know that it's wars and rumors of wars, but you ain't looking out for it. You just, you just sit in the house just staring at four walls all day, right? Reading precepts, right? Not linking it up with nothing that's going on, right? Let it all make sense, man. 
And you should hear wars, rumors of war, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And we're seeing that happen now on a major scale, on a major scale, a nuclear war at that. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, and we link these scriptures up with what's going on in today's time. That's how you do it. You make sense of what the scriptures are saying. Because Israel don't know the breakdowns of the scriptures, so he sent forth his prophets to preach the gospel, man, the good news. You see, matter of fact, matter of fact, I, let me matter of fact, since I said that, let's get this last scripture. And then I'm, and then I'm gone. St. Matthew 24, 14, 144. And this gospel, meaning this good news of the kingdom, shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So, so look, oh, we're supposed to just read this scripture. Don't, don't, just close our eyes, read this scripture. Don't, don't see nothing going on, right? How do you know that this scripture right here is being fulfilled if you don't watch? You see, if you if you ain't taking heed to what's going on, said this gospel means it's good news, this word of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world by way of what? By way of the internet. How do we know that this word has went forth throughout the four corners of the earth by watching the internet and seeing different brothers? You know what I'm saying all over the earth preaching this word. And what does that let us know? That we're one day closer to the end of this place because the gospel didn't been preached throughout the four corners of the earth by way of the internet, right? Preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations because Israel has been scattered. And then shall the end come. So we got to watch, all right? We got to watch the news. We got to keep up with current events. We got to go into geopolitics. We got to see what different legislations and laws and bills that they have passed. And link it up with the scriptures. That's how I know. That's how you know what time you living in. It's not rocket science, man. Food for thought. Shalom.